Hi guys, this is Tash, the Starcross Stitcher. I'm here today to do an unusual video. Um, it's actually a product review. Um, I got a big box in the mail from Riolis. They contacted me about two and a half weeks ago on Instagram and asked me if I'd like to um, pick a chart and do a review of it. So I said, that sounds great. And so here I am to do it. Um, so they got this in the mail to me really quick. It arrived in about two weeks. Um, and there's an exciting kit in here that I chose myself. All I've done so far is just open, just get through the tape so I can open up easily. It's a very big box for one cross stitch kit, so I don't know what's in here. It's not heavy, so it's probably just well packed, let's say. Um, I'll say some things about Riolas first, actually. Um, Riolas is a Russian company. They do cross stitch kits. Um, I think exclusively kits, they don't sell the patterns. Um, they also do diamond painting, they do some bead kits and things like that, um, but what they're most known for is cross stitch kits. They have, I didn't know any of this until I started looking at their website, they have 700 different kits. Um, so it took me a really long time to choose this one. <laughs> uh, um, what else? They have 700 kits, they um, have a whole team of designers that they've hired themselves and they release 100 new kits a year, which is a lot. Um, they sell a million kids a year, which is a crazy amount. Um, because they're in Russia, I think the Russian audience is probably their primary audience. Um, I have bought a real, realist kit before. You might remember this one. I actually, um, was a bit unhappy with it because the fabric was too small. Um, and they wrote back to me and said, nope, an inch and a half on each side is fine. Uh, so I'll be measuring the fabric that comes here to see if this is also small. Um, but let's get into it and open because I'm excited. So, in here is, this is a large box. Ah, there's a lot of packing. Packing. There's a letter. Dear Tash, we're sending you your chosen kit. We hope you enjoy it. They've asked me to do a video when I open the kit, when I start it, do updates when I make progress, and then do a review at the end as well. So, this is the first video. Looks like I also have a catalog. So that's one of their designs. I actually considered this one. So I like designs of people stitching. Uh, yeah, so perhaps all 700 designs are in here. I don't know. They have a lot of designs. I'd love to do a flip through of this. I'll be reading it later on. Uh, they sent me, looks like a bag. Oh, that's cool bag to carry my kit in and here is the kit Ooh, I'm excited oh my gosh it's huge and that's all that's in there the rest is just packing okay it's in a plastic bag let me take it out Oops. this is the kit I selected and you might recognize this from Luda uh, Luda she has a floss tube channel she stitched this kit a while ago and when I saw it on the website I recognized it and I thought, oh, I really want to stitch that. So I'm very happy about this. Um, what I didn't realize is that this is one of their premium kits. Um, so the one I showed before, this is not premium. This is just regular. And I don't know what's special about the premium ones, except that they come in a big fat box like this. You can carry it around. <laughs> um, so what does it say? Cross stitch kit, Camille Monet after Claude Monet's painting. It says here's Zweigart and Anchor, so I'm assuming there's Anchor Floss um, and Zweigart fabric, which is interesting because I thought that Riolis kits all came with the um, wool acrylic threads. If you haven't used those wool acrylic threads, I really like them. They give fantastic coverage. They're quite nice to work with. Um, I like the sort of coverage they give and the fuzzy feel is good. Um, and here on the back, we've got some detail shots. That's what her face will look like. And then here are some other, I think these are all premium kits of theirs. So let's open it up because I'm excited. So when I open it up, I've got a box with a plastic cover. And that looks like all of my threads. So how can I take this plastic off? I don't think I brought scissors. Look at that, I've got scissors right here. Don't worry, I'm not using stitching scissors. Not real stitching scissors, just ornamental scissors. Um, so, I'm going to remove the lid. Yeah, 
So these are the threads here. The colours are lovely, aren't they? These are, I suppose they're anchor threads. Uh, that's what it said on the front, anchor. Yep, they are six-stranded cotton. Um, I've used anchor threads before and I really like them. They are um, beautiful colours. They seem to cover a little better than DMC. Um, they're really nice. It, looks, uh, it actually says there should be four thread cards in here, so I hope I'm not missing one. There's one, two, three. If you see at the bottom, it says here this is three of four. The others are numbered one. Oh, there we go. And there's four of four with one colour on it. Um, I actually might take these threads off these cards and pre-cut them into lengths. Just because um, I, I'm always so inconsistent when I pull a length off here. And I don't know. Or maybe I'll just leave them on there. I'm not sure. This kind of bobbin's interesting too because I'll cut off my length and use a strand or two strands. And then I'll have four or five strands left and I guess I'll wind them back on here. I'm not sure. I've never actually used this this kind of bobbin with six stranded floss, so that'll be interesting. Okay, here I have fabric. Uh, white looks like 14 count Ada, but I don't I didn't actually say on the kit what it was. Ugh. The needle is somewhere in the middle of the fabric, which I'm wary about that because I've I have been burned by rusted needles right in the middle of fabric. That's a rookie mistake. Uh, it says on the box this is Zweigart, Zweigart Ada, and it certainly feels nice, high quality Ada. Um, as soon as I find out the stitch count, I'll be measuring this to see if it's big enough. Because I had a bad experience in the past with realists. So, looks like I have some instructions here. Oh, it's in French, Spanish, Italian. Uh, maybe Russian, English, and Dutch. Yep. And it actually tells you there are some three-stranded cross stitches, some two strands, some half stitches with three strands, some three-quarter stitches with three strands, some three-quarter stitches with two strands, and backstitch with one strand. There. Excuse me. And then it shows you to use two, two threads and how to do your cross stitch in case you are not sure. Okay. Um, it tells you there that the colours on... Ah, uh, I see the chart. It's a colour chart. I don't like colour charts. Um, I knew it would be because the, the kit I've bought before had a colour chart. Um, they're just not my favourite. They're fine to stitch from. This is very clear. You might notice that some of the... Um, some of the symbols don't even have a symbol in them, they're just a colour. So this will be interesting. It's very clear and easy to read, as you can see. Um, sometimes it's hard for me, personally, to tell what colour, whether that's... Is that medium blue or light blue or dark blue? Or is it greeny blue or, or pale blue? Um, so that'll be interesting. And as you can see here, I guess this is your key. So... Here's each of the colours that you're going to stitch. And it, this symbol here tells you whether you're using two strands or three strands according to this. Whether you're using two strands, three strands, three quarter stitch. Like here, see? This is three stranded half stitch. This is two stranded full cross. This is three stranded three quarter stitch. Um, I'm assuming that uh, the result of all this is very nice. It's just going to take a little time to get my head around, I think. Um, but yeah, this looks doable and fun. Oh yeah, and there are blends too. So on the thread, on the floss card, you don't actually get, unfortunately, the anchor numbers. You just get a number. So if I run out, I'll have to go and colour match. Yeah, I'll have to go and colour match because they didn't actually give me the anchor number that I can see. Um, so say here, it says I need one strand of... 25, I think that says 25 and 26, 1 and 2. So I assume that means one strand of 25 and two strands of 26. And do a full cross. And 25 and 26 are there. So I'm guessing that's how it works. This will be really interesting to start. Um, I'm just going to 
Oh, I'll show you also. This is all one giant, one giant chart, um, which also isn't my favourite. It makes it difficult to photocopy, which are pro which is probably why they do it. So I can't copy it and share it with people. But in terms of making a working copy, which I'd like to do, I can't. Oh, I can, but it just makes it more difficult. And also being colour, I can't mark off what I've stitched. Um, well, it makes it difficult to mark off what I've stitched. Uh, but we'll make it work. That's going to be fun. I'm going to pause. I'm going to measure the fabric. I'm going to come back and let you know. Uh, how do I pause? There we go. Hey, I'm back. Um, so it doesn't actually say anywhere on the chart or the instructions or the box um, what the finished size is or what the stitch count is. It does confirm that the fabric is 14 count. It tells you there on the side what's in the kit. Um, so it's 14 count. I counted the stitch count. 132 across by 166 down. So the design size is a little under nine and a half by 12 inches. So for that size, my preferred fabric would be 15 and a half by 18. And the fabric they give me is 15 by 16. Um, so it gives me a little less than three inches on each side that way. And it gives me only two inches on each side at top and bottom. Um, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> this kit gave me a little more than one inch on one of the sides, even though it's a square. The other side had three inches. Don't get me started, I was cranky about that. Um, this one has two inches on the top and bottom and that will be enough. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to start this. Isn't she lovely? Um, as I said, I'll make another video when I start it and I'll do um, updates as I stitch on it. I hope to start it soon, pretty soon. Um, and I will also do a video when I'm finished, of course, to show you how it looks and talk about my experience stitching it. Um, if you want to buy this kit, uh, you can't get this directly from the Realist website if you live in Australia or the US, I think. Um, if you live in Australia, there are four distributors in Australia. I'll put a little information up here of who the distributors are. I've looked on each of their websites and I can't find this particular kit there. Um, so I can't tell you exactly how much it'll cost. It looks like other premium kits um, on those websites cost around $110. Um, I was able to find this on amazon.com.au for $97 plus $10, $11 postage. So if you want this, that's where you can get it. Um, I'd also recommend checking out the Realist website because there's a lot, a lot of charts. As you can see from this massive catalogue, there are a lot of charts. I had a really hard time choosing which one I wanted. There were probably half a dozen, maybe ten, maybe a dozen other ones that I would seriously have actually stitched. Um, so many beautiful ones, lots of different subjects. Really, really, really beautiful ones. Anyway, I like that. I nearly chose the Neuschwanstein Castle. Yeah. Anyway, that's all I have to say for today, guys. I'm going to make a real update very soon, and I will see you guys later. Have a nice, bye, stitchy day.